today we are actually showing you pretty much the top best mods for uh, Dinkum. So the first one as you can see it's a reshade for it, there's a couple of mods out there but this one is the most uh, actually good one and you can actually see the details and everything inside the house and everything. The second one is pretty much stackable uh, bugs, fishes as you can see like that be right there and the third one is to actually see the price of items like as you can see right here so you don't need to go all the way to the shop to realize how expensive or how much you can sell an item for. The third one, if I'm not mistaken, actually the fourth one, I think, it's an infinite wheelbarrow because uh, who would like to goddamn dig for 25 million years to not do anything about it? So it's literally the normal wheelbarrow can uphold with much 10 shovels, but this one you can put infinite amount in it and as well you can take infinite amount in it. So if you put, let's say, dirt uh, in it, you just need one shovel and it can be taken out indefinitely. As well with sand and other things, as you can see right here, it's overfilled. And I can still put it inside of that particular wheelbarrow, so that is an amazing mod in my opinion right there. Just a couple more just to prove the point. But still a great, a great option to actually have. The third, <coughs> I think it's a fifth or sixth, I don't even remember. It's auto gathering, as you can see you don't need to right click anymore anything to gather them right there. <clears throat> and now another one it's a quality of life improvement where you can actually use the furniture and as you can see left corner up it's actually gonna regenerate our health so you don't need to you know stay right there and you can also sleep like uh, close your eyes and that will also generate your health so and stamina as well, generate health and stamina, whatever, you can figure it out yourself, you're a big boy, you don't need to be held, held by the hands. And another one which is quite good in uh, my opinion right now, if is the correct one, it's actually a communist mod, something like that, but at the moment I don't actually have any debt in the city. So that one it can be configured to make the townspeople actually donate more to the debt itself. So let's say before they donated, I don't know, let's say 10%. Now you can make them donate 50%. So if you have a full town or like three or four already, you can literally just put 1k, 2k and the rest they will actually donate properly. They will not be so stingy like that fat ass old bitch right there that never actually does anything that takes our money and says, oh yeah, a ton debt will be very cleared. And now, as you can see, I'm just showing you one more time the actual auto gathering because last time I don't think you saw it very well. So right now I'm just chopping this down. Bam, you can see it's automatically taken in the inventory. You just no longer need to right click every time. So which is amazing in itself. Uh, the other mode is the one you can actually see on the minimap the townspeople with their own little icons, you can rename them. So for example, you can put the dude, other names, whatever. And this one is the best one. You can actually customize the amount of planks you get while cutting wood, because I hated the fact that one wood equaled one plank, that was too much. So I kind of did it with five. So every time I cut something, it gives me five planks, which is, again, it's amazing. So boom, five planks. Boom, one more time. 50 million planks right there. Of course, you can actually modify it to actually do like 20, 30, 50, 100, whatever. Whatever you actually need to cut things out of there. Sorry, the cat is attacking me at the moment. And the other option itself, the other mod itself, as you can see, I don't actually know what mod this is. All right, the animals one. Uh, if you look closely on the minimap as well, all right, the the other map as well was the map itself with the minimap. As you can see, it actually shows which biome you are in. And at the same time, if you look at the minimap, as you can see, the green one are uh, good animals. The yellow one might uh, they will attack you if you attack them back, and the red ones are uh, they will immediately attack attack you if they see you. So that's another mod that you should have. Like right? if you can see right here, the red one it's a crocodile. The yellow one, it's that little fucker that turns into a wheel, and the green one is probably a kangaroo or a dog itself. So as you can see, it shows 
I mean, it's a pretty distance, it's not extreme, but uh, you still can figure it out by looking at the minimap itself, if you're into that. And of course, with the signs of the shop as well.